Hello there, I'm going to show you quickly how to import Crystal into Blender. I will provide no further assistance. This is just to show you how to get her into Blender and then you have to figure out what you want to do through tutorials. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first, you go to my website, crystalarchive.com, get the images, I mean uh, the 3D art from here. And we're going to do a Nanogur's Brawl and Assault model, which is this trophy model. So let's download it. There it is. And I'm going to extract it as a zip file. And go in there. This is the trophy model as a, as a wave... Uh, I, I don't remember what it's called. Wavefront, wavefront uh, type object. And this is her texture. This is a Targa file. It contains all the textures for our crystal. So uh, this is what we have to import and then we have to import that. So let's open Blender. Okay, this is the default scene. It's got a camera, a light, and an object. We're gonna delete the object because we don't need it. That's the delete key. And now we're going to import crystal. Import dot object, which is a wavefront file go to where it's located on your computer in my case it's in downloads and that folder and crystal.object import here is where I'm going to, there's an image search I'm going to turn that off because I'm going to do that myself and I'll show you how to do that so there's crystal she's kinda of small if you render it from the camera's view you get this really tiny let's fix that real quick first up let's scale it way up I held the S key and I dragged the mouse. That's a quick scale. Otherwise, you can push. Uh, you can uh, choose your selection mode by clicking. The, this is transform, rotation, and scale. But I use the S key to scale. And when we render that, it's ooh, way too big. Let's close that and make it a little smaller. And I'm going to rotate down and send her down here. Let's try that again. Okay, that's about as good as we can expect. Close it. And I'm going to turn on perspective mode because that looks nicer. Um, okay, now, uh, you know what? I'm going to make a small change. The camera's in the right place, but the light is not. I'm going to move that. Oops going to move that right over beside the camera so we can see her better. That's much better. Notice how she's all like this. Uh, we can fix that real quick by right clicking her and choosing in her properties. Uh, it's not visible here. I don't, oh no, it is right here. Set smooth in the object properties. Set smooth. And now when you render it, She's always nice and smooth. The only problem with that is it actually smooths out the parts that are not supposed to be smooth, like her backpack, but whatever. Now, um, for Crystal herself, let's import that texture. We're going to right click on this area and click Split Area so we can see both areas and change this to UV Coordinate, UV Inter Image Editor. And this is where you import your image. I'm going to open, go to the location, downloads and choose Crystal Targa. There it is. Now if you right click on this, you can see that her UV matches up with the image that we just opened and I just dis made disappear. Okay, um, so let's add that here. So we have the model. Let's go into the um, this materials button and add a new material. And since we want it to be a texture, let's add a new texture. Uh, add new texture. Where do we get the texture from? Well, that's a good question. I've already forgotten how to do that. One second. There it is. Here in the texture tab, you add a new texture, which you already have, and name it an image type. Then you choose which one, which is the Crystal Targa, and it loads up. Now there's a Crystal crystal target and it's there and it's applied now let's look what it looks like when you render it 
Well, that doesn't look quite right. Um, something's wrong here. If we tab here, we can see that indeed her mesh lines up with the UV coordinates, so something else is wrong. Uh, and that's because it's Ren oh, and by the way, I'm going to turn on the textured mode so we can see the textures. Okay, in this mode, it works fine because this mode is already using the UV coordinates. But for whatever reason, uh, it defaults to another form of uh, texture mapping. So we need to change it from this Orco to UV coordinates. And when you use UV coordinates, that gives us the correct output. Like so. Um, and in this case, because we don't have the lighting set up correctly. I'm going to actually turn off shadows. No, uh, no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to turn off shadows. I'm going to turn shaderless. I'm going to shadeless turn off the shading on the texture itself. And so now when we run it, we'll still have light, but well, something broke. Um, one second. Let's try that again. There we go. So now we still have light, but the texture model is on there correctly. And that's how you render with textures in Blender and how you import the crystal model. Hope you enjoy. There's um, tons more to learn and no time to cover it. So, uh, good luck.